Hi guys, Navin here. I'm in uh, northeast Sri Lanka, visiting more villages to uh, identify more projects to do. Uh, looking for villages where they need clean water and also uh, toilets. So I've um, ended up in a village called Kalikulam. It's rural, it's very deep into the uh, jungles. I think it took about an hour to get here via motorbike. Uh, it was a bumpy ride in. Uh, it was like going into a real godforsaken area. Um, so I've been walking around as usual, speaking to the villagers, understanding their needs, their problems. And uh, clearly this is a village that has some very critical needs. So um, they don't have toilets here, uh, so they defecate openly. Uh, I'll show you my surrounding shortly. It is jungle here, so snakes are very common, wildlife is very common, extremely dangerous. Uh, they also don't have a reliable source of clean water. There is one particular tube well, it's located about a kilometer away from here. Uh, the journey to the tube well takes about 45 minutes uh, and then walking back with uh, loaded uh, jerry cans take another 45 minutes. But at the same time they've got to wait because everyone goes together in the morning and in the afternoon. So at least two and a half hours, uh, that's what the whole uh, act of collecting clean water for drinking and cooking takes. Uh, so clearly it's really really bad, people are falling sick. I just visited a house with a really cute little uh, baby girl. Uh, you can only imagine the risk that she's being put at uh, when she has to practice open defecation and also drinking dirty water. It's actually quite mind-boggling because I've been to Sri Lanka before. I've been to rural villages in Sri Lanka before and it's not been this critical. Uh, the people here were in camps uh, and they were not resettled. So the government didn't give them land to go back to after releasing them from the refugee camps that they were placed in after the war. So they just wandered into a jungle and uh, built their own homes and are trying to make a living for themselves. They are mostly coolie workers so they do labour work. Um, I don't really see them farming in this area, it's not really farmland. So it's quite a uh, difficult position for them to be in. Uh, we're going to work very hard to get some tube wells in here and definitely some toilets, do some sanitation and help training. Uh, really help them out. So uh, I'll be launching as usual. I'll be launching a fundraiser when I come back. I'll keep you guys updated. Let me just give you a very quick preview of the area. So it's all jungle. Now imagine uh, going into this jungle for open defecation to just relieve yourself. And this is, uh, this is a temporary shelter being built by the villagers here. So they're making it themselves. There's a tarpaulin sheet on top. It's normally UN or some NGO that has left it by the roadside uh, and they get the sticks from the jungle. And that's my team that's been showing me around the area. Really, really good guys. Really committed to finding the most critical villages that we can find in Northeast Sri Lanka. So this is a really bad situation to be in. Um, but hopefully we'll be able to help them out. So uh, stay tuned. We'll keep you guys updated. Bye for now.